Welcome to Prism Technologies. I am Venkat. This is part 6 of ASP.NET MVC tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss view data and view bag in MVC. Please watch part 5 of this video series before proceeding with this video because we'll be working with the example that we discussed in part 5. Now, both view data and view bag are used to pass data from a controller to a view. In fact, if you remember in part 5, we actually use this view bag object to store the list of countries within this dynamic property countries and we are doing that within this controller action method and look at what we are doing in the view we are using the view bag objects countries property to pull the countries that we have stored and then print them so basically we are using this view bag object to pass data from this controller to this view okay but remember this view bag object uses the dynamic feature that was introduced in C sharp 4.0 so this dynamic feature allows an object to have properties dynamically added to it what do we mean by that look at this property here countries you know this is a dynamic property meaning this property is defined on the fly okay so you can give any any property name that's meaningful here Okay, I just happen to choose countries, but you can you can give it something like countries list, you know, something like that if you want. So this is a dynamic property. And the downside of these dynamic properties is that they don't provide compile time error checking. Meaning, let's say for example, if I specify countries list here, then when I am retrieving them, you know, I have to use the same property. If you misspell that, for example, here I am using countries list, but here I'm saying just countries and if I run this what's going to happen as you might expect we get a null reference exception and why is that because look at this we are trying to retrieve you know something out of this country's property while there is nothing in that property okay look at this when I actually build this I don't get any compiler error look at on the status bar it says build succeeded so I, I will not know about you know the compile time errors but then when I actually run the application, look at what's going to happen. In country's property, the dynamic property of this view bag object, there's nothing. So that's why I get a null reference exception when I try to convert that into a string. Okay? So this view bag object, it doesn't provide any compile time error checking. What's about view data? Now look at this. This is how we use view bag object. View bag dot and then you give a dynamic property name and then to, in that property you assign some data. But whereas if you want to use view data, you don't use properties, dynamic properties like this. Instead you use string keys. Okay? So you use a square bracket there and then you specify your key name. Now if you look at the syntax, it's very much similar to that of a view state session state or application state. We discussed about view state session state application state in ASP.NET video tutorial. So if you're new to them, please watch those videos there. But the syntax here uh, of using view data is very much similar to them. Okay, again, I can use this view data to actually pass data from a controller to a view. Let's quickly look at an example. Now, let's say instead of using view bag, I want to use view data. So, view data, and then I can use the square bracket there, define our key. So, I'm going to call this key countries. You can give it any meaningful key that you want. Okay, and then to retrieve the data out of it within the view, you use the same key there. So view bag, I mean view data of countries. But then if you look at what is the return type of this, uh, you know, well, you can store anything into view data, just like a view state or session state or application state. You can store anything and everything into this view data object. So that's why the return type is object, but we know what we are expecting back. We are expecting a list of string back. So that's what is the type I want to cast it to by using this type cast operator. So if I run this now as you might expect, it's going to work in the same way. Here instead of using view bag, we are actually using view data. Okay? So obviously when this web when this form renders, we should have the list of countries printed. Okay? So both the view data and view bag does not provide compile time error checking. For example, if you misspell keys are property name. So if in case of view data, if I misspell the key name, look at that, instead of using view data of countries, if I misspell it, view data of countries one, what do you think is going to happen? Um, you know, we get again a null reference exception. 
okay so at compile time this view data and view bag they don't report any errors okay we only get to know about those errors at runtime which is dangerous just imagine what's going to happen if we didn't detect those errors at testing during testing and then we deploy our application to production servers and users start using them and then if we have these runtime errors you know it doesn't look that great okay so that's why anytime we want to pass data from a controller to a view it's always a good practice to use strongly typed view models We'll learn more about strongly typed view models in a later video session. But understand, you know, it's possible to pass data using, uh, I mean, from a controller to a view using view data and view back. But in reality, we don't, I mean, it's not a good practice to use them for that purpose. All right. And, uh, you know, internally, the view back properties are actually stored as name value pairs in the view data dictionary. Okay. So here, view data uses keys and view bag uses properties but these properties internally they are stored as name name value pairs all right on this slide you can find resources for asp.net c sharp and sql server interview questions that's it for today thank you for listening have a great day